Okay, so here is a case study of what is going on, going wrong with the systems. Never really working right. Spend a lot of money. All right, I got an S1, and I got the dock. I have an iPad 8, and I have a Samsung S6. I have running this with a Lenovo Windows 10 computer. All the software, is, today is what? November 28th, as of yesterday anyway. I updated every bit of software. Okay, so now I've turned everything on. The dock is on. I mean, the dock is on, S1 is on, iPad is on. That always goes dark, but it's it's on. So this is on. All right, so everything's on. Computer just booted up, fresh boot. Okay, windows on, everything's loading up. Yukon should be loading up. Or as you guys say, Yukon. Um, if I go over here and open the settings for Yukon, it's all default, everything should be good. And let's look at the, hmm, let's look at the control surface. This is what should we should be seeing on our control surface, right? Well, let's, let's close this for now because that's all good. I'm going to now start up Pro Tools. Pro Tools is starting up. You can see this one is all set. Loading, 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 loading. Everything's loading up, right? Everything's fine, right? Let me just create a new session. Not from a template. Let me just, uh, let me call this test. It really doesn't matter what's in there. All right. All right. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. All right. This is where things get crazy. So let me, I'm gonna just open up EUCon again and show you, all right, we're in the, let's look at the control surface first, right? So this is the soft key setup, page one. pause for a second all right so if we go to the surfaces part of EUCon we see that I have moved the s1 dock I mean s1 in there and I have the control for that linked to the Samsung I have the avid dock and I have the avid control master control which is linked to this Alright, all good. Now, if we go to soft keys, and this is the control touch screen, right? And so if I hit soft keys here, it should mirror down here what is there, right? So here's the crazy thing. Alright, so let me go. Oh, let's go select transport and hit home. It works, right? Let me hit this. Let me go home. Let me hit this. Let me go home. That's all right. So let me, let me now watch. See, I'm hitting home. Nothing's happening. But like, go down here to this corner where nothing's assigned. It goes back to home. So what was that? That was elastic properties. So that's a good example. So I hit elastic properties. I get these choices. I look over here and I said, that's page 69. So let's go to page 69 here.
Looks familiar, right? Is there anything assigned here? Nope, nothing assigned to that. What's the assignment here? Home, huh, what's the command? Jump to page. Very interesting, jump to page. Which one? Jump to page one. Everything is as it should be, at least according to the software. But clearly, if I look at the key assignments here, if I hit uh, quantize, I don't know. Elastic properties, little elastic properties window pops up. Okay, so hit home, nothing. Hit this key. Hey, that's home, except for it shouldn't be. New tracks. Oh, let me add a new track. Uh, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna close elastic property. Okay, new track, new track, create. So I got a new track, I got a new track up there. Yay, and it shows up here. Let me see, can I go home from here? No, I can't go home. ET no go home. That's page 135. Let's go over here to page 135 where the assignments are. One thirty-five. Home. Should be home. That's right. That should be home. That's home, right? But what happened when I push it? Nothing. See, it's home. What's the sign here? See? What's the sign to this one? Nothing. Nothing assigned there. But let me go over here. I go home. So that's one problem, okay? Alright, so let's Let's assume that there's something wrong with the iPad. Let's switch assignments here. Let's change. Let's remove everything. Let's remove everything. Remove. Remove. And now let's move. Let's put the S1 back in. But now let's assign the iPad to the S1 and let's assign let's put the dock in there let's assign the Samsung as the major control so we switched everything it's flipped right so now this is actually linked to the S1 let me expand here and I'll so this, this, this iPad is now linked to the S1, and this is our control surface. So let's see if we see, have the same problem here. What did we do before? Elastic properties. Yay, can I go home? ET no go home, but if I hit down here, it goes home. So it doesn't matter, it's not the surface. It's not the surface. Go home, no go home, go home. And I don't know how many other key assignments are wonky, but that's just ind indicative of kind of the crap that's going on here. And now look, what does this mean? Why are those two lights blinking? What in the world does that even mean? Why are the zoom and shuttle lights blinking? What does that mean? Tell me. What's going on here? This thing is not working. And I could do the same thing with trying to assign things to the dock. And I try to assign these keys. They get all screwed up. They don't match what's over here if I change things. What the hell's going on? Please answer. Okay, just in case this comes up, like what version I have, which I, I just said that I installed everything new. But let's look. Go to Yukon and go about. Here's the version I have, 22.9.0.44, EU conversion 4.8.6.44, copyright 2002. I assume that's the right one, because that's the latest one on the website. And I've done all. I've restarted all the stupid applications. I've done. I've done all this. I've done all this a million times.
it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. And it's restarting. All right, I restarted it, right? Elastic properties. Go home. No, go home. This doesn't even have a thing around it, but that area is active for home. Something is wrong with the software for sure. And I really wish Avid had better instructions for EUCon and uh, the dock and the S1 because the stuff out there is great for hooking it up, but there's really very little in terms of how to use this stuff. You want to know what version of this I have, right? So, oh, I have. Oh, look at the wonderful name. So I have version 2022 10.0. It's all it's all good. It's all legal, legally purchased software. There's nothing there's nothing that's not out of the box on all this stuff, and it's all updated. 